Uh, welcome to our sixth annual Broadway Dinner Theater. It's crazy that this is our sixth year doing this. Um, but we are very excited to have all of you here. Um, we normally do this in the fall, and uh, with our drama coach, his wife, expecting a baby in January, we decided he could do his musical in the fall, I would do this in the spring. And to all of you who are Catholic, and I'm serving chicken on a Friday night, I'm sorry. It wasn't even on my radar. So um, I hope you enjoy your dinner, and to those of you who aren't eating, I'm very sorry. Um, I did not mean to neglect that. Um, but I wanted to say thank you so much for coming. Uh, this is a fun program that we do every year. Uh, I don't pick the songs out. I don't program them besides a couple of group songs. Uh, the kids pick their own songs. They choreograph their own songs. They make their own costumes, put their own costumes together. And so it's a really great opportunity for them to uh, work with each other and work on their own and just be able to get to come and perform and do all of this. And like I said, a lot of the work they do on their own, which is really awesome. Um, but for those of you who don't know me, my name is uh, Mrs. Kelly. My student teacher is uh, Mrs. Jessica Reynolds. She has also been helping. She's playing for a couple of the kids, so she's been here for this whole process too. Um, I have a couple of thank yous. Ms. Moser is in the back of the sound for us like always, so give her a round of applause, please. Uh, some other people to mention, our custodians here in this building set all of this up for me. I'm not in this building very often anymore, so they got all the tables set up when we came in, like all the tables and chairs were already ready to go. Um, our ladies who are cooking in the kitchen, you know, they time everything so you get the best food as soon as it comes out, um, it's coming to you. So they work really hard to make sure that timing is awesome. Um, our school administration is great. We just we have so much going on here for being such a small school. We have so much talent, and um, and it's just great to have a school that allows us to do programs like this when the arts are just being so devalued anymore or standardized testing and everything else. We still value them here, which is awesome. And um, I think that's it for my thank yous. So uh, last but not least, let me um, welcome our hosts up here. We've got Leo Nicolucci and Julia Lombard. Hi. <laughs> okay, good evening everyone. Um, welcome to the 2019 Broadway Dinner Theater. Um, I'm Julia Lombard and that's Leo who actually showed up this time. And we'll be your hosts for tonight for the last time. So in past years we've kind of done terrible puns and uh, we decided not to put you through that again. So this year we decided to have some humorous summaries of some of the shows. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you, some of them are kind of punny, but we try to make it a little more bearable for you. Um, so let's get right into it. Uh, the first uh, song we're gonna have is The Greatest Showman, A Million Dreams, which will be a group song with solos by Caden and Sarah. And then we've got from Anastasia, and we'll go from there with Kale Rounds, Adam Seymour, and Sarah Wygant. And then we'll have Hercules, I Won't Say I'm In Love by Haley Cowan with backup from Olivia Lozano and Hayden Miller. And summary for you, Hercules is about a guy who actually doesn't skip leg day. <laughs> and from Hamilton we have Burn with Elizabeth Milner.
have gotten better, but maybe that won't matter. Bottom line, I'll win her. We'll do some reminiscing. She'll see what she's been missing. Over wine and dinner, and even though I've grown a tiny bit grave, some women say I look distinguished this way. How about as if I'm still a brisky young pup? Let's see if I can straighten up if she says no.
begun. It takes too long, you miss all the fun. But what needs to be done, you can do it. When there's too long, you if I dare. It's because I'm becoming aware of us as a pair of us. Except a share. What's that? We changed. We're strangers. I'm meeting you in the woods. Woods, what dangers? I know when we pass the woods. And once we're past, let's hope the changes last. Your woods, beyond witches and slippers and hoods. Just since you were us, in our lives, sit at home with our beautiful prize. Just a few of us, it takes trust. It takes just a bit more when we're done. We want more, we have none, we got three. We need one, it takes two.
live in my this life. I've never been a man behind a desk. I've always been a man who said that staying still was playing dead. The kind who's looking forward to the challenges ahead. People say that's irresponsible. We're not at rest So I'll fight the dragons And I'll storm the castles And I'll win a battle or two Then comes the day in time I'm packing up And I am bringing all my stories home to you All I can see is miles ahead With miles to go all I can feel is wind and sun and sky. Stop for a coffee, make a friend, and pray the day will never end. Cause there's one more adventure waiting around another band. Where I fight the dragons, and I storm the castles, and I win a battle or two. But then a feeling comes like 50,000 drums all day stories on fields. And then I wonder as I wander on the road from door to door exactly what you think of where I've been. Do you know I joined the circus that a mermaid all aboard? Do you know I think of you through thick and thin? Because even when I'm making deals and bringing people joy I'm usually only thinking of my boy Out there on the road I pray You'll come to me one day And say let's fight the dragons And let's storm the castles Till we win what needs to be won so when I'm old and tired, you'll do the job required. You'll be there, bringing stories to your son. And then we'll fight the dragons, and then storm the castles, and I'll do the best that I can. Cause everybody knows that's how the story goes, to turn each boy
12 starts to eat, we were told to remind you that there are drinks over there for everyone who ordered dinner. You can either get your own teas and lemonades or make a child do it, so that's pretty cool. And just a reminder, um, you should all have ballots in your programs. Don't forget to mark those and vote for your favorite acts, I guess. I don't know. For sure. Mm -hmm. You will be back. Good night. Get out of the fairgrounds tomorrow. Where? Nice to get the boat to the studio. Already.
Put your bottle, please. Okay, so that was just um, from Dear Evan Hansen, You Will Be Found. Uh, the group song with Kale, Sarah, and Gabby as their soloists. Next is Mama Mia, Super Trooper by Heaven Ernest, Emma Conti Wendell, and Isabel Moser. And then after that, we have from Thoroughly Modern Millie, uh, Not For The Life Of Me with Hayden Miller. And then uh, finally, we have Godspell, We Beseech Thee by Rory Brady. And a quick summary for you, Godspell is the story of Jesus or Jesus Christ Superstar. They're basically the same. Yeah.
we'll start practicing that. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, next up from Matilda, we've got Quiet by Caven Bills. Then after that, we have Sister Act of the Musical, The Life I Never Led by Sarah Wygant, and then Something Rotten, Right Hand Man by Lillian Pierce. Which happens to be about someone who left out their milk for three months and never cleaned it up. Don't. 
Next up, we've got from Be More Chill, I Love Play Rehearsal with Maddie Lemon. Then we have The Hunchback of Notre Dame, God Help the Outcasts by Michaela Sheldon. And then from Mean Girls, I'd Rather Be Me with Emma Conti Wendell. And finally, Something Rotten is Hard to Be the Bard by Max McLucy. And short summary for you, The Hunchback of Notre Dame is about the hunchback from Notre Dame. <laughs>
my days are so busy, it's making me dizzy. There's so much I gotta do. There's lunches and meetings and poetry readings and endless interviews. Got a post for a portrait and how I deplore sitting there for eternity. Then it's back to my inn where my innkeeper friend wants to name a drink after me. Then it's back to my room where I resume my attempts to write a hit. Just me and my ear in a terrible fear that I might be losing it. Because it's hard on me. It's hard on me. It's really, really hard. So very, very hard. I get you look easy, but on you believe it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's so incredibly hard. So you can see me on you believe it's hard. It's hard to be the bard, baby. I've got so many families, so many demands, I can hardly go take a piss. Give the fever, the fever, the autograph secret, I don't want to piece of this. It's the cost that I bear, I'm like, Jesus, I swear it's a burden, but I suffer through it. It's all part of the game, the trappings of fame, but somebody's gotta do it. I know, I know, I gotta go and get back to my pen again. Oh, don't make me do it, don't make me go through it, can somebody give me a drink? Cause it's hard, it's hard, it's really, it's really hard It's sexy, but it's hard I make it look easy, but I don't believe it's hard It's hard, it's so annoyingly hard So inconceivably, unbelievably hard It's hard to be the bard, baby you see, what people just don't understand is that writing's demanding, it's mentally challenging, and it's a bore. You sit in a room by yourself, oh my god, oh my god, I just hate it. And you're trying to find an opening line, or a brilliant idea, and you're pacing the floor, and hoping for, oh, just a bitch of divine intervention. That one little nugget, that one little spark, and you're reading, finding you're ready to start. So now you can write, right? Wrong! You're not even close to remember that dang it, your place gotta be an ionic pentameter! So you write down the word, but it's not the right word. And you can't find the word, but you need the word. And you try a new word, but you hate the new word. Uh, where is it? What is it? What is it? Where is it? <laughs> no, it is, isn't it? It's really the worst. It makes me wonder why I didn't think of that at first. Hard to alleviate the pressures to be created. Hard to do something as good as the last thing I did that was already great. It's hard. Well, you see me from the bar, well, I'll hoist the bias from tar, and all that I need is a clever disguise. They can think for his devious lies, they can throw up the devious stuff, the work that's so unfairly hard. Well, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Fortune and fame, everyone knows my name, I can't help it, it's still freaking hard. <laughs> Think of me with Isabel Mosier and Adam Seymour. Then we have uh, from Fiddler on the Roof, Miracle of Miracles by Dylan Beveridge. Um, fun summary for you. Fiddler on the Roof is about a man who tries to get more money for a street performer by moving to roofs. So. <laughs>
instrumental uh, section. <laughs> I Know It's Today by Haley Cowan, Hayden Miller, and Sarah Wykamp. And then finally, we have from The Greatest Showman, This Is Me. It's a group song with solos with Gabby and Hayden. Um, this is also the last time we'll be coming out tonight, so a couple reminders. Make sure you fill out your ballots. Um, Mrs. Ashcraft, well, Miss Kelly, I'm sorry, made us remind you that um, you need everyone let me start over. No one leaves until everything is cleaned up, and we have 50 50s, so. <laughs> Number 199170. <laughs> $87, by the way. Oh, that's good.
This is a great song coming up. I'm looking forward to it. Which one? The one from Shrek. Oh, the three girls. This is good. Okay. I'll give you a nugget about this song afterwards. A nugget. A nugget.
good to me. So my nugget is the woman who wrote Shrek and is told by the princesses of three ages went on to write Fun Home. Very, what? Fun Home. Very dark musical, but also told by a woman of two different ages. So I'm anxious to see what her next one is going to be. I bet you. A woman. Right. Yeah. It was lovely. This one was lovely. It was. I'm so happy. I remember. My good. We got new ones. Well, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a stranger to the dark. Oh, my God. 